How is everybody doing today? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking yet another look at another hero that was reworked in the time that I was gone. It is the Butcher. A very hit or miss character. I don't really enjoy playing him kind of like, you know, to the exaggeration. Like, I don't play him like, oh, I need to play him. I just kind of play him sometimes for fun because he is definitely super fun but only in certain certain situations there was a meme kind of maybe not a meme but kind of like just a joke going around the uh, the heroes nexus and just different forums and reddit that butcher has a lot of has all the ways to go in but none of them to come out he has no escapes once he goes in he's in and he needs to stay he only has like one way of, of escaping and then he gets the second at level 20 only and that's uh, and that's when he actually misses a lot of his also crowd control on the enemy team and it is just not fun your team has to be behind you all that all the way uh, your healers have to be behind you it's just if your team is not behind you it is not a fun endeavor he's still about the same character i mean he he, he was worked i'm sorry i might have to uh, mute my phone um he was reworked but he's still about the same playstyle. Uh, he's a little bit. He takes a little bit more skill now to play. Um, it actually requires you to be very, very patient. It requires you to be very careful in the early game. But then you can kind of go ham in the late game. I'm gonna continue on with the explanation down in uh, in the video. So let's go. Let's get into the game. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines map today. Let's see the enemy team. Zerto, sorry, Silent Zerto, Lee Mink, Sylvanas, Abathur, and Thrall. Still gonna go Abattoir. I feel like this is just the best talent in the tier, and block, it doesn't really pay all that much. Especially against this team. I mean, Zerto is pretty good against the, the block and Thrall sometimes. Uh, as, but most of his damage, Thrall's damage is gonna become uh, abilities. Unless he goes with the... He goes in with a D. Anyway, Butcher. Throw is not the topic of this conversation. Butcher, his Q is called Hamstring. Hamstring, what it does, it is a, uh, there is a skill shot in front of you that kind of he smashes his blade on the ground and creates this area that damages enemies. Uh, that damages enemies and also slows them for 50% or and that fades over two seconds very very good for chasing very very good for again That's what that's what the escape is that I meant. Uh, it's very it helps you escape a lot quite a lot I'm just gonna linger around try to get the stacks that uh, I actually talked about Our W ability is called butchers mark. Yeah, no, sorry. It's butchers brand Butchers brand what butchers brand is going to do for you. It is going to you can attach it to an enemy or uh, a minion or a mercenary, anything that's living. And what it will do it is like it, then every single basic attack after that on on that target, that the branded target will heal you for seventy five percent of the damage. It is also going to deal some damage upon our application. And what is also going to be doing is when you attach it to a hero and you and every single basic attack against that hero will be increasing the duration of the current brand by 0 0.5 seconds so you know, a half a second just longer um, longer duration than that honestly i should probably be roaming more so i'm gonna probably try to go top maybe savannah's trades for savannah's up in the top lane okay it looks like this is just abathur lane so it's fine i'm probably gonna go, gonna, go gonna go bottom then i'm gonna go bottom actually uh, I really want to explain what Butcher is about. Let me just explain his, his abilities first, though. His the ability is what gets him into the fights. It is called his Ruthless Onslaught. It charges the enemy, increasing your speed, basically, from the time that you start up to the... Uh, yeah, you'll be gaining speed until you reach the target. There we go. You also stun them for one second and deal a little bit of damage. Which is just crazy, crazy good. So now we just picked up a kill on, on Zerto that will actually allow us to gain a little bit of advantage on this objective. And I'm gonna help my team. I should, honestly, I should be in in a, in a lane somewhere, gaining stacks, just because that what that what is what Butcher is all about now. 
Butcher is all about gaining stacks. He is just very, very bad when he doesn't have stacks. I only have 23 at the moment, which is, you know, I mean, it's not too bad, but actually it is pretty bad. So again, I'm just gonna help my friendly team deal with this objective. I'm actually going to engage on this Sylvanas right here. Gonna maybe try to uh, attach the brand on her, but you, you saw, I didn't get the, the brand off and now I'm just hopeless. I need to run and the only way to do it is on my feet and by slowing enemy movement down. I need to get, grab these globes, man. There we go, get them stack arenas, bro. I will be able to get this objective, and honestly, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna split push. I am going to split push the shadows. I'm just gonna get these stacks first, though, because they look they look pretty tasty. Give me, give me all those meat. And I'm outy. I am outy, Savannah's will be fine here. Uh, I'm just gonna let, them, let my team know but first. I'm gonna deep pursuit at level four. I'm gonna explain what it does in a second. Use my pictures. The rules of onslaught here doesn't really matter. Yeah, so he's very, very weak in the early game. He needs to stack. He needs to stay in the lane. He needs to he needs to gather his trade, which is called fresh meat. Uh, you can gather up to 125 stacks of that meat. Uh, and what it does. So when you when you kill a minion, you will basically gain a little bit of meat, uh, one meat uh, uh, to be precise, and then when a, a hero dies, it's five meat. Uh, you know, the enemy hero dies. Um, and that goes up to 125. You will gain one attack damage per meat collected, which is, I mean, pretty damn dope. Like he's the highest hitting, uh, uh, you know, hero in the game, highest hitting or attack hitting hero on, in the game. That's just way too many H words right there. And basically, you'll be stuck in this up to 125, and when you die, you lose 10. So you, in the early game, you basically do not want to die. Of course, we decrease that kind of with with a level one talent, which what it does, it uh, decreases the 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 punishment of the meat uh, loss uh, upon death to five, so it cuts it into half. But also, what it does. It allows you to also uh, gain meat. Fresh meat! You're dead. Okay, you're not dead. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I just like to do that when I play Butcher. It's like, you I, you feel powerful when you play Butcher. It's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. So, um, it's also it will also allow you to stack uh, the meat even more from heroes only, by the way, when you finish this quest to gain a, a, a bash, uh, additional attack damage. Pretty damn sick if you ask me, pretty damn sick. Uh, Savannah's pushing in the top lane. I'm gonna try to rotate and deal with her. Looks like I did walk into... I'm gonna try to heal off of him. Uh, I did a couple of shots and I'll try to slow him so he does, so he can't chase me too much. So like the friendly Chromie is gonna go for uh, her for her heroic. She did, she, she did a lot of damage, but she wasn't able to pick up a kill at the end. So again, Butcher, very, very weak, and not very, very 100% weak, not like the weakest character in the game, but definitely one of the weaker ones. Nice, nice, nice mind control. Um, and then he gains immense power in the late game with all of his stacks and then also, also with, it, with his abattoir talent which just allows you to stack the crap uh, out of your attack damage. And it just, when he engages in the late game, he hits like a goddamn truck. I'm gonna engage right here. Use, use my heroic right here, which is called Lamb to the Slaughter. She is going to be silenced and chained to that post. She is like a hopeless lamb. She won't be able to do anything. Really, really good heroic. Uh, it's uh, uh, By the way, the duration on that silence is three seconds. Super, super good. If we feel funky, we're gonna pick up the upgrade at 20 level 20, but we're gonna talk about that later on. And we're doing good on our stacks. 92 stacks right at this second. Uh, honestly, I should still be stacking. I should still be going to a split push lane and still be stacking, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna stay here and just pick up the you know, pick up the stuff from here. Uh, we want the Punisher to be soaking the shots. Actually, Thrall is just way overextended, and he's gonna be punished! By the punishment for our f by you know by the force of our friendly team, which is Illidan, Butcher, Sylvanas with the mind control, just crazy amounts of damage. Also with the Chromi um, the temporal loop, that's gonna be nuts. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to a different lane and get some more stack arenas. I need only 20 more, so I should definitely be fine with that. Engage on this minion. 
I should actually be fine after I clean up this wave. Uh, honestly, I hope that we don't we're not gonna lose any more people just because they're gonna actually God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Uh, the enemy avatar going for a copy, so I need to be careful of that, uh, of of them splitting, of them multiplying, of them, you know, humping humping. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, yeah, okay, level 13. Uh, we're gonna go for brutal strikes. I do like that talent. Anyway, okay. Well, let's explain my uh, my talent. So that's what was abattoir, abattoir, kind of reducing the the, the punishment you get from a death. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Hello, my friend. How are you, Papi? <laughs> Blessed it. Here's a silence on the enemy thrall. He is going to be chained to that post, not able to do a single thing, and killed. Anyway, um, our level four talent is called. Uh, oh, nice, nice, Sylvanas just flying towards us right there. Um, th that's Sylvanas, by the way, so we are, you know, Butcher likes that. So, we just finished our quest. Anyway, our level 4 talent is called uh, Unrelenting Pursuit. When you hit somebody with your E, anything, it, as long as it hits, you'll be reducing its cooldown by 33%. So, be, you'll basically be, be cutting it in 3 and just taking that third off of it. Real nice. Real, real nice. Um, actually, Zeratul is down in the bottom, I'm gonna try to help our Chromie, not sure if I'll be able to do so in the time, but I, I think, I, yeah, I won't be able to do I, I was just kind of split seconds away from engaging on that Zeratul hard. Um, our level 7 talent is called Meat Shield, it will, uh, basically when I charge somebody, after I charge, I think... Okay, upon the impact you will get for you will get a very nice uh, ability shield for for 2.5 seconds. Honestly, super great against against uh, again throw. It's going to be good against Zeratul. It's going to be you know against the the the, the cleave from Zeratul. Oh, I missed him. Nice. Okay, that was just an easy kill. He's right there somewhere. I'm not sure where he is. I mean, we can see him because I think he's mounted. So it's also going to be harder to kill him. I'm gonna try to watch our Chromie so she, she doesn't get killed by him. Other than that, we're just gonna get the objective straight easy. I have my ultimate off of cooldown, so I'm pretty uh, confident with my next kill. Yeah, so level 10 was the lamp to the slaughter, which uh, again uh, allows us to uh, chain a target to a post. And kind of, you know, kind of um, just silence them for three seconds, not allowing them to do, to do anything. And by the way, Lamp to the Slaughter only... There's a kill. Oh, that's just a waste of cooldown. That's a waste of cooldown. You guys wasted my cooldown, boys. What are you doing? We have a butcher. Oh my god, this team is just this team is just allowing us to win the game right here, boys and girls. Yeah, anyway, so this talent, uh, the Lump to the Slaughter, used to... Ooh. Oh my god, no, didn't even get to him. God damn. So yeah, so it used to just chain the target. You didn't, it, it wasn't in silence, so people could still cast abilities. I mean, they could still gain shields. They could still, you know, um, like... Uh, Basically, maybe make, make themselves invulnerable. Like, for example, maybe you know, use a digital on themselves, like like Uther can. Um, just a lot of stuff they could still do, right? I'm not actually gonna go in on here. I'm actually gonna heal off of him with my with my butcher's brand. Now, I actually, dropped below 40%, and using my level 16 talent, I'll be increasing my attack speed by further 40%, I believe. Yes, uh, and also. Um, I didn't even get there. <laughs> and also, uh, I'll be getting resistant for 10 seconds, which is crazy if, when you think about it. Super, super nuts. Um, honestly, I just need something to heal off of. So I'm probably gonna go and grab Sippy. Yeah, so that's Enrage. When you withdraw, when you drop below 50%, you uh, will be increasing your attack speed again by 40% and gaining resistance for the duration, uh, for the 10 seconds. Yeah, so it, it wasn't as good, uh, and that's why also Butcher wasn't as good uh, just in the game, just because he didn't have too much uh, too much utility. Um, he did add, uh, he exhaled at just dealing a lot of damage in one burst, with, especially with his Furnace Bath, the other heroic. Oh, dude. I, did, I, did, I didn't even get there, I didn't even get there. 
What are you trying to do here, my friend? Nothing! You're just gonna get wrecked. Honestly, this team is just giving us the game. Oh my god! How did she do that? How did she do that? I, that is just pure 100% good positioning. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Beautiful game, boys. Beautiful game to show to showcase this character. So you can see in the late game, everybody has to fear. Every single one. Just you know, one, even one person overstays their welcome. It is game over. It is game over, boys. Uh, Butcher is so fun to play. He is actually super fun to play. He he wasn't I like that uh, before. Um. Again, his trade was different. It used to be up to 30, I believe, or up to 20, I think. Yeah, it was up to 20 um, stacks, and that gave him uh, ad uh, additional attack, uh, attack damage percentage. I want to go in. Okay, I think we're going to go because there's a fort there. Um, yeah, so it used to give him percentage of damage, and then you had a talent level 16, which increased your, um, your attack speed percent for every single stack that you have but then you lost all the stacks if you didn't pick up abattoir at level 7 i believe it was uh, abattoir just again cut it in half so you you, you only lost 15 again don't quote me on all of those but i remember that that's uh, how he worked i'm not sure of the of the of the numbers themselves i actually have my i have my engage here oh babe it's about to go down we're about to go in boys we're about Oh god, I wanted to get that. Fuck it, we... Okay, wait. We're not going in. We're not going in. Oh my god, she's gonna get blown up anyway. I think she picked up cannon, uh, glass cannon, just because there's no... There's just no way in the world that we will be able to do so much damage to her. Uh, okay, Chromie has some burst that burst has damage, but... God damn it, boys. Okay, looks like we are... Our Illidan is pushing something away. My 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 cooldown won't like my um, heroic won't be here. Here is the enemy Zerato. He's gonna be stunned by my uh, by my ruthless onslaught, and it's gonna be killed. That's a good game, boys and girls. Easy, easy game. Honestly, if we didn't lose a single objective. The enemy team was splitting way too much for a game with a, with a butcher on the enemy team. They just made mistakes all across the board. I didn't die a single time. I love Butcher. I, I really, really enjoy playing Butcher. Just check something, boys and girls. I'm waiting for a call from my girlfriend because she wants me She wants me to pick her up from school. Epic. You! I'm epic six, boys. Can we get Mo? No, I think the rest just kind of bailed. Anyway, that means that the enemy team liked me, <laughs> even though I killed the shit out of them. Oh, it was good. It was a good game overall. I don't think I top damage. I think somebody else. I think Chromie did it. Did Chromie do the thing? I feel like it. Right. So yeah, she she did the thing. She did she did more things than I did. <laughs> I did more and more siege damage though. I did, I had more XP contribution just because I split from the enemy from the friendly team to kind of to kind of focus on stacks. So again, I apologize if I didn't um, explain some things probably i'm gonna to try to do it now so again butcher we can uh, in the early game do not engage into fights in an early game of course if it's a gank or something like that he's a very very good ganking character especially if somebody overextends he's almost as good as alarak when it comes to punishing somebody for overextending of course his his charge is a little bit you know is a little bit uh, longer than you know than alarak's pull and then into combo but he's still good at that um, he's very good at disengaging, so pick your fights very, very carefully. Uh, try to go into fights that are either in your favor or you have somebody behind you. You are basically sure that you're going to win the fight. Butcher is not fun. Like, if our team was the other, the other team, I would have been on the enemy team. And for example, the this team had a zero two. You know, like we would swap. I would swap places. The enemy team was not playing together at all, at all. 
And that would be just a horrible experience for me, just because my team wouldn't be behind me, wouldn't be following up on my on my charges, would not be with me, uh, even protecting me. Even though it was an entirely uh, specialist assassin comp, they still took care of me. They still we went in with me. Illidan hunted my target. Chromie followed up the damage on my charge. Honestly, just you know, all of these things just just count a lot for the experience you're gonna get with Butcher. So I had a shit ton of fun just because I had very, very good teammates and I salute every single one of you guys. Dexter, Miskali, Hucklequist, me, myself and El Mustacho for playing a really good game, boys and girls. We're gonna go over the build again. I, I only changed one talent, one talent when it comes to Butcher. Um, so I'm gonna give it to you right here. On level one, again, there are two choices here. You can go for block or go for abattoir. Chop meat used to be good because it increased the hamstring damage by 100% to minions and mercenaries, but it also gave you additional meat. Okay. Which is goddamn good. Obviously, uh, you will be able to stack faster. So I think they should add the functionality back to, to kind of make this talent a little bit more viable and make Butcher maybe make his comeback a little bit into competitive just because. I feel like his uh, his wave clear is isn't superior to other assassins. That's why he's kind of out of there. Of course, he's also very easy counterable and all the other thing, or the, on the all of the other things. But this would kind of alleviate the problem of him not having any kind of um, good wave clear. But the choices here are block. If you're facing a, a very very high basic attack damage team, but they are slow basic attack so there's no tychus no tracer no zarya who should just constantly attack your block is not going to do anything against those, these guys and they're just going to melt melt your block stacks away like it's nothing but if they have illidan vala rainer you can go for block block is then a very very good choice abattoir is also but your main choice is going to be uh, is going to be abattoir uh, even sometimes when the the enemy team has uh, a very very high attack damage a uh, very very high attack auto attack damage composition uh, again what it does it reduces the punishment of dying uh, you won't be losing as much meat you'll be only losing five instead of ten and you'll be also able to stack your attack damage after you after not, not after you die after you finish your quest which is your trait uh, which i explained in the video on level 4, I went for Unrelenting Pursuit, just kind of allowing me to use more of my charges, kind of engage, engage, engage. For example, it's very, very good in extended team fights. So for example, I engage in into a team fight. Let's say we kill a target, but then the enemy team disengages. They're at you know pretty close distance, but we just can't reach them with most of our abilities. Again, in about 8 seconds, I'm going to be able... Uh, in about 5 seconds after that team fight, for example, we blown one character up. Uh, in about 5 seconds, I'll be able to use it again. So, you know, just ch chase it for a little bit and then just you can engage again, kind of, you know, get one target down again. Very, very good for that. Cheap, sh cheap shot, very, very good on uh, as a follow-up to your uh, to your E. When you engage with somebody, then you will be able to deal more damage with hamstring. Again, hamstring is not the biggest damage. It does a little bit of damage and, you know, it just kind of adds up. But honestly, I don't think it's that good. Unless it's a very, very, like, high stun comp. Like stun lock comp, then oh, maybe you you might be uh, getting this. But yeah, on level seven you do go for the insatiable blade, uh, increasing the butcher's brand healing from seventy five percent to one hundred percent. While facing the brand enemy, your movement speed is increased by twenty percent, which is good, which is crazy good because you slow them with your Q, and then you get further increase uh, when you brand them. Uh, but you have to be facing them. So again, they give you more tools to go in, but none to come out. Uh, but I went for the Michu in this uh, in this particular game just because they had Li Ming, they had Zerto, they had Throw. All of those uh, all of those enemies deal a shit ton of damage with abilities. So I just wanted to be um, kind of safe from the from, not safe hundred percent, but at least reduce the damage incoming because it would have been quite a low burst if I didn't. Uh, so again, kind of. Synergizing with the uh, with the cooldown reduction, uh, I'm, I'm going to be activating a spell shield every time I impact somebody with my ruthless onslaught. Level ten, I went for long term storage. Just straight up the better choice now. Um, honestly, they should do something to furnace blast. Maybe increase its range. Um, and uh, honestly, it sh it needs a little bit of rework just because it's not picked. 
but Lump to Slaughter is just a much better ultimate right now. Again, after once, once, um, so I you drop this circle on the ground with the post and the little chain. If there's anyone in the circle, they're going to be chained for three seconds and silenced, not allowing them to do anything. And I'm not actually sure they could, they can't be divine shielded because divine shield goes on everything. They cannot be cleansed after it is done. I don't think. Yeah, they can't be cleansed. Um, after um, the actual the actual you know chain attaches to them actually when they are in, in the silence they can't be cleansed I know they can be cleansed before though um, be careful because if there are multiple people inside of the circle the closest one to to the center is going to be chained it's not going to be the target because you can't target you just put it down and then whoever is the closest to the circle is going to be chained um, I remember this used to be like very very like changed a lot. It it used to again. I'm just gonna say this again. It, it used to it used to not silence the enemy, and then they kind of messed around what abilities what abilities could have been used uh, with it. So I remember it, when the when it wasn't silenced, like you could just do anything. Like for example, when Tyrael got um, got lumped to the slaughtered when he got chained to the post. He could just sank and just walk out of it. Uh, some people, like for example, Johanna, could just press her D and just walk out of it. It was nuts how bad it was. Um, it just didn't achieve anything. Now, it's borderline overpowered. Uh, on level 13, we went for the Brutal Strike, Hamstring, and Powers basic attacks. Uh, after using Hamstring, your next three basic attacks within 15 seconds deal an additional 15% of damage. 15% of damage is huge. For Butcher, just because he deals like 60, like 600 damage, especially if you stack your uh, attack damage very, very high, if you if you really focus on stacks in the early game, he hits like a truck, with, with, you know, with his basic attack. And it's crazy. So brutal strike is really good. Of course, you know, going with the kind of synergy, I could have went with the pursuit, but I, uh, sorry, with the uh, savage charge, you know, just kind of dealing a little bit more damage. 10% honestly is very, 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 very good respectable damage good against uh, like double t uh, double tank comps and chogal comps so again savage charge is always there i feel like cleaver is good but it is here a little bit too late it should be moved to one of the four or seven tiers to be actually uh, viable maybe swapped with one of the other talents uh level so yeah but we went for brutal strike and level 16 we went for enraged uh, gain attack speed and reduce damage taken at low health. So again, when you're below 50, you gain additional 40% 40 uh, 40 attack uh, attack speed and you become resistant. So basically, you wait. So this, basically, there's a little tactic you can actually take when you're at six, when you're level when you're level 16 and above. You charge somebody, you wait up until you're below 50%. You pop your brand and just heal for days. You run somebody, you keep auto-attacking, you slow them down with your Q, you uh, chase them with your E again, and you know you just smack the shit out of them with all your basic attacks. And again, when you hit by like a truck, your damage is going to go through the roof. Like, and rage, it just gives you so much. So, so, so much. If you're not feeling uh, very, very risky, Crypting Slam is always there for more CC. And also Blood Frenzy. Blood Frenzy is pretty good. Basic attacks against enemy heroes increase your attack and movement speed by 5%. For 3 seconds, this, this can stack up to 5 times. Again, when you engage, when you, engage you chain somebody, it's going to stack up very, very quickly. And then you can you can charge some more people. And you know that's probably not going to fade in the time that you charge somebody. So you can keep using the 25% uh, movement speed and attack speed. Again, it's up to you. If you're not feeling, you know, if, if you're not feeling comfortable with going below 50%, Blood Frenzy is always there. And on actually, Blood Frenzy used to be that talent. It used to be the third. The uh, it used to give you um, as much attack speed percentage as you, as you had stacks. I think. Oh, and also, I think it was from twenty five to thirty five. Yes, that's what it was. From twenty five to thirty five, and then when you lost them, uh, you went to like eighteen stacks. Yes, that's what it was. So yeah, so blood frenzy. That's what you used to do. And that's what it used. Uh, what, that's what it does now. I think it's just it's just playing with enrage is just much better. And then a level twenty. Honestly, there are a lot of good choices here. Uh, next is blades again. 
even more attack damage, 20% more attack damage on Butcher, which is nuts. I, I can't stress, uh, stress enough how good it is. And also it slows enemies, so allows you to chase them again with your brand, with your now Nexus Blade and your Insatiable Blade. Oh, so much, so, just so, so much. And with your Q as well. Just so much chasing potential, you'll be able to lock down targets very, very easily. Both of the storm can allow you to make plays and escapes. Uh, I did, um, actually, I have a game. I'm not sure if I streamed it. I don't think I streamed it. I think Purple Dragon streamed it, uh, where I, I just go ham with my both of the storm uh, in one of the games. Of course, it's on the 70 second cooldown, but also Slaughterhouse is very interesting. Um, when you engage into the middle of the enemy team, you press your R, everybody in the circle is gonna be chained and silenced. And this can turn uh, tides of battles, like, you know, when, when for example, going against you, it can just throw it over the wall and just annihilate the enemy team. Not allowing to throw your abilities, uh, sometimes it's worse than getting stunned. So, this has been Butcher. He is super, super fun. Hopefully this uh, video was uh, helpful to you and it kind of kind of gives you an idea how to play him. Uh, it, this rework gave him much more tactics. Like, you need actually a tactic. You need to stay in lane in the, in the early game, build up that good basis, big, you know, build up those stacks, build up that damage, and then go ham in the late game. Honestly, you should be finishing your stacks up around level 10 uh, or even before that, so just try to aim for that. Um, just And if you have any difficulty again, just come back to this video and you will be instructed how you do your stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, also go over to my, uh, to my live stream. I do live stream every day. I haven't missed a day in three weeks now. So go over there, I do stream every day about four to five hours. Uh, we play some heroes, we play some, also some other games, but mostly heroes. So if you enjoy heroes, just go over there, follow me, the link will be down in the description. I'll just see you guys next time.